Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw. Dean White, Dean, another successful show at the uh, Tolworth Leisure Centre. Uh, we'll start with Prince Patel. Uh, a lot of hype. He talked about selling tickets. He brought a big, big crowd in and uh, got a stoppage win. I love these. I love these people, man. That was really exciting, man. The drums and all that. That was really amazing. Indian music. What? Didn't you enjoy yourself? I thought it was quite thrilling. It was, and he, he got a win. Do you think he got the conclusive win that he probably needed? He got, it sorted you out, yeah? She, yeah? Okay. Yeah, thanks very much, yeah? But take it. Um, I felt like it was so-so. I felt it was a tale of two halves. The guy was, I felt the guy was very eager, boxed well, you know, punch selection was good. He was very confident in what it was, and he just fucking ran out of steam, it looks like. Realistically, can you get a, a big fight for Prince Patel? Are you going to bring him back to any of your shows? We've got, we got, we got some good stuff really on the line for Prince Patel. He's, you know, he's a smart guy and understands the game. So I think we've got some interesting stuff for him shortly. So it's, it's, it's a step at a time, step at a time. And any Rutherford, I know you're a big fan of him. Uh, the opponent that he fought, that guy brings smoke every time no, he comes. Sanchez is an animal for me. Is that Sanchez or Valencia? Actually, yeah, Valencia, Valencia. Yeah, I know, no, but there's two of them. They're very no, no. They look Sanchez like... and Valencia. They, they, you know, they're, they're well-known guys that box and, and understand the game. So, you know, Valencia very experienced. You know, and um, Ernie's Ernie's only four and zero, so he's got a lot of learning to do. Bring a great fan base, and um, it was a great fight. Anyone else stand out for you tonight? Uh, Martin Hillman, credit to him, it was a great fight. He managed to win a belt tonight. He was doing his thing, it was good. Um, who else? Byron Cox, Nathan. To be honest, all the fights were actually these fights. So credit to all the boys that fought on the, the card tonight and uh, done showcased their skills. And just for the fans, when is the next Black Box Global Show? We've got one May the 7th, Bank Holiday, and then we've got one June the 10th. So we're very active one, every month and um, we're going to continue to try and grow and develop and, you know, learn from whatever we're doing. Good man. And I've got to get your reaction to uh, a stunning shock. I don't know whether to call it a shock. Are, you, are we calling it a shock? Zhang stopping uh, Joyce? Yeah, you know what? You know, like when they say, you've been tangled, you've been zanged. But look, this is heavyweight boxing. I am quite shocked, to be honest, because I did have Joyce winning. I wanted him to win, but this is heavyweight boxing. Unfortunately, you know, Zhang came and um, was on song and he managed to win but look there's great fracture from around the corner I still have great faith in him that he's going to do good stuff and put up you know a good fight against any of the top contenders because styles make fights that was a big old lummox in Zhang so it was awkward southpaw as well so if he fights AJ Dillian it's going to be a harder fight I see Dillian calling out um, him out today let's see if those fights are made and see what ha happens your brother was ringside and I think he was there to call Joyce out. Obviously, Joyce hasn't won. I don't know if there's a rematch close, but if there isn't, uh, do you want to see Zhang with uh, Dillian or do you want to see Dillian with Joyce? I think Dillian with Joyce because UK, UK. So let's see what happens. It'd be interesting. Zhang on papers possibly beaten Hergovic and now beaten Joyce back to back. Man, do we need to what, appreciate what, 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 how good he is? He's a silver medal Olympian winner. So we've got to respect his boxing ability and his IQ. So... You know, he's not to be underestimated, but I felt like his, his stamina was always in question. But look, he pulled it off tonight. Does Zhang beat AJ? If you asked me today, would Joyce beat AJ? I would have said, you know, it's potential. It's, it's a high possibility, probability. I would obviously be rooting for AJ. It's totally two different things. Um... It's crazy. Styles makes fights. I don't know who wins. Well, well, Zhang, Zhang, Zhang AJ, if that happens next. I think it's a good fight. I think Zhang's got maybe more confidence right now because he's coming off a high, good couple wins. Obviously, he probably believes he beat Hergovic, so he's probably in a position where he's like, well, I've won these two fights, so fuck it, I'm going for it. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. On that note, uh, Dean White, appreciate your time. And just a shout Thank out to Time Booth came down tonight to oh, support your show. Booth, man. Chilling, Blossom Hill. Come on, fam. Thank you. Night tonight. If you wasn't here, you missed out. I don't believe you should have been at um, the Copper Box. But hey, listen, hey, maybe I'm biased. But Black Box Show, you do an amazing show. Tune in, be there. May the 7th Bank Holiday, Maidstone, June the 10th, back at Tower. Tune in, hit me up, hit the boys up.
We fly and we make your moves. A slight, slightly tipsy D Mike. Thanks, brother. I'm fresh, so. Uh, <laughs>